There's a well-known Quranic term which needs a careful definition, which is indicated in a number of ayat and a hadith, a famous hadith in uh, Sahih Muslim on Sufyan bin Abdullah radiallahu an qal qultu ya rasulullah qul li fil islam qawlan la as'alu anhu ghayrahu qal qul amantu billah thumma istaqim so it's a hadith in Sahih Muslim in which one of the sahaba says to the rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he's asking for something very short and sweet uh, tell me something uh, in Islam which if I say it and follow it, I will not need to ask further. And he says, say, I believe in God, and then go straight. Qul amantu billah, thumma staqim. That's it. This is min jawami al-kalim, one of the, the words, one of the phrases that kind of include all phrases, everything we need to know. And very often we find that the ahadith of the Chosen One, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, are amazingly comprehensive in telling us everything in a few words. So in this uh, phrase, the Holy Prophet is indicating two things. Mm -hmm. Profess your belief in the Creator, the One, the Source, and the Place of Return, Al-Mabda wa Ma'ad. Without that, you are kind of floating in a void, without a beginning, without an end, without knowing your orientation, without a qibla, you're a kind of nothing, nihilist. And then, istaqim, follow istiqama, go straight. So it's a matter of statement, qal, and how you are, hal. You can't have the one without the other. Going straight is difficult unless you know where you're going to. Uh, saying Allah is not really very meaningful unless you act in accordance with the fact that the world has a direction. So this includes everything. It's like the two shahadas. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, no God but God. What should I do about that? The sunnah. Follow the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. So this istiqama, this going straight, which is what we pray for, 27 times a day or more, ihdina sirat al-mustaqim, guide us to the straight path, the upright path, the path of rectitude, the path that is the shortest line between two points, uh, is of course where we go astray. We go on other roads. We follow the subul. Uh, maybe in English, the word crook refers to the fact that somebody's gone crooked, we're not straight. We're not upright. Uh, as the Americans say, you're not a, a stand-up guy. So we are created in ahsan taqwim in the best of forms. Adam is an upright creature, unlike any other creature. He is heavenward in his direction. But at the same time, we look this way and we look that way, and it's tempting. The scenery of dunya is pretty appealing. In this time, in this month, that uh, tap of temptations is turned off or turned down. It's just a trickle. Maybe we look at things that we shouldn't look at. Maybe we think about things we shouldn't think about. Maybe we, maybe we are not right, not right with God. We're not mustaqim. But the benefit of this month is that it is easier for us to see the straight path in front of us because the distractions, the scenery is kind of monochrome. The temptations, the possibilities are constrained, especially at this time when so many of us are in our homes. Uh, istiqama is easier, by God's grace, than it is when we're just kind of enjoying uh, the pasture without thinking about where we might be going. So this istiqama is important, but we get distracted. That's our nature. It said that the reason why man is called insan is that he is full of nisyan, forgetfulness. One interpretation, poetic perhaps, of what the name of man means. We, we forget. We remember and we forget. And we remember and we forget. But Allah in his grace 
gives us lots of times and opportunities and days and months to go back to him. And at a time when many are thinking about perhaps uh, a near return to him, this becomes easier. And this inaba, this turning back, becomes more real and more necessary and more yearned for. But it's still difficult. The Holy Prophet وسلم, was asked by Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Ya Rasulullah, I see that you're turning grey. Qal, shayyabatni hudun wa akhawatuha. And he said, I've been turned grey by the surah of Hud and its sisters, the other surahs that begin with the same letters. And it is said, one of the meanings of this is that it contains the phrase فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتْ Go straight, be a person of rectitude as you have been commanded. This is directed to him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so awe-inspiring is this command by the only one who has the right to give commands. And so catastrophic the possibility of just following impulse uh, that it turns him grey. He who was ma'asum, divinely secured from straying, nonetheless feels this fear, and the believer is between fear and hope. Fear and hope are like the two wings of the bird. If they're balanced, the bird travels, goes right, if you like, uh, in a balanced way. So you have to have fear as well as hope. Life is not just about enjoying the pasture. Life is all about having a direction. Hmm. You're not always going to be in this field where you're munching the grass happily. You came in through a gate, you're going out through another gate. That's the iron rule of life for Bani Adam and for every living thing. You came in through a gate, you're going out through another gate. So don't spend too much time just thinking this pasture and this joyful munching is going to go on forever. So this istiqama is in a sense what makes us human beings and is the greatest miracle given the nature of our impulses. And in this month, the shayateen are suffidat, as the Holy Prophet says in the famous hadith, إِذَا دَخَلَ شَهْرُ Ramadan, when the month of Ramadan comes in, uh, the doors of good are opened and the chains uh, uh, of the devils uh, are fastened, the devils are fastened. And we are invited. And an angelic voice calls out. And in this month, we can kind of all hear that voice saying, Oh, you who looks for good, arise, get on with it. And you who looks for evil, desist. The shayateen are chained, and it's a little bit easier for us to get back on the straight path to find our true direction. But this is the nature of many Adam that we have these two enormous impulses, just as we have these two enormous spiritual principles within us. There's the nafs, which is gravitational, animalistic, wants to go down, subject to the laws of gravity, and is interested in every possible way that the endorphin circuits of the brain might be tickled. Any pleasure, it'll be really interested in, like a, a dog that looks excitedly in the direction of anything that smells good, that's us. But there's also this ruh, this spirit, which is from the divine breathing in, in sufflation. The clay of Adam had the divine spirit breathed into it, and that has a divine home. And that's the istiqama. The lower self, the nafs, doesn't really have a direction. It goes this way and that, just like uh, any instinctual creature goes for wherever the pleasure seems to be greater. The goat goes for whatever looks tastiest. That's us. Ah, but the istiqama, the uprightness, which is directed and oriented and secured by this vertical dimension, which is from the nafakhna fihi mirruhina, ah, is to go straight. Straight to the exit of the field, beyond which there is true delight. Na'im muqim, ongoing blessing and, and delight. So, uh, we have these two dimensions within us. The one which is going this way and that. And uh, Sayyidina Omar ibn Khattab radiallahu an 
On the minbar once was talking about istiqama, this going straight. And he said it means to not weaving like a fox. Karawaghani thalab. You probably haven't been fox hunting, but uh, the fox moves this way and that. It doesn't run straight, it goes this way and that. And because it's a fearful creature that wants to avoid uh, the pursuing dogs or the huntsman's gun or whatever, it's, it's a foxy creature. The ego is like that. Slimy, wants to get out of difficulties, wants to tell fibs in order to extricate itself. It, it twists and turns. It's devious. But the spirit, what we truly are, the roh, which remembers the day of Alastabi Rabbikum, just wants to go straight back, straight for the light. If the light is there and seen and felt, why go this way or that? Straight back. And this is istiqama. So in this blessed month, as we travel from the first day of the fast to the day of the Eid, moving like all human beings, always and forever in one direction, that's a journey that is maqhur, something that is uh, absolutely constraining us and we can do nothing about it, even though we wish, oh, if only it was this time yesterday and I hadn't said this to him. And we often make these futile hindsight lamentations. No, we head in one direction only, and we don't revisit a single moment, a single virtue, a single life, uh, uh, fault, vice of our lives, straight. Ah, straight for the grave, straight for the entrance to the unknown, straight back to the Lord. Ilallahi tasiru umur. Back to God, all things return. And let that return for us be not trying to, to escape it, but rather to welcome that return and to find in putting our faltering and frail feet directly in the footsteps of the chosen one, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whose march to his Lord was absolutely straight and beautiful, shining. Those footprints still shine for us. Uh, flowers grow where he stepped to go exactly in that way, to follow the sunnah, to avoid all reprehensible innovations and deviations and the ahwa, the temptations of the ego, that's a great thing. So let this Ramadan be for us and for this ummah and for a fearful penitent world, inshallah, a time of return, ma'ad, that is going straight. Not resisting uh, what is beautiful, not following what is dark within ourselves, but let us be a people who hear this command in Surat Hud, Fastaqim kama umirt, go straight as you have been commanded, a commandment directed to all of Bani Adam. Let us remember the monstrousness of stepping off that path because we think we know a better way. Uh, and let us remember the great grandeur and dignity and beauty of those who stay on the straight path and go as quickly as they can towards the acceptance of their Lord's decree, whatever it might be. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us people who receive forgiveness and blessings and uprightness and going straight and inshallah discerning with the eye of the heart the luminousness of our final destination so that there is no temptation to step off the path to the left or to the right, inshallah.